Good morning, friends. Today we're going to read the book King for a Day. And it's a really interesting story. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen. King for a Day. Oh, and the print is very small, so I think I will have to put my glasses back on. Poussant is the most exciting day of the year with feasts and music and parties. People celebrate the arrival of spring and many will find their way to the rooftops of Lahore to test their skills in kite flying battles. I'm up early. My brother and sister arrive, still rubbing sleep from their eyes. My brother asks, Malik, is that all you made? My sister says, how can you be king of Busant with only one kite? It's called Falcon, inshallah, will be fast enough. I send my brother away. I send my brother many blocks downwind so he can catch the kites I will set free. There's the bully next door. Ha, it's time to make him pay for hitting me and throwing stones at my sister. I'll get back at him with Falcon. The bully shouts at us, calling my sister a bad name. My sister yells right back, but when she turns around, I can see she's hurt inside. The breeze lifts the bully's huge kite. His kite is so big, I nickname it Goliath. It must have cost a fortune. Falcon is small, built for speed. I let out enough of my special string for my sister to carry Falcon to the edge of the roof. Don't step on the tail, I cry. Don't rip him. On the count of three, my sister jumps. I tug on the string. Falcon leaps into the sky. I'm ready to attack. I work my string, slipping Falcon so it circles Goliath. Because it is so big, Goliath is slow. My kite string rubs the bully's kite string. Snip, I have sliced it. Goliath flies free and the bully's string drops from the sky like a fishing line with nothing on the hook. The bully picks up his other kite, a smaller, faster kite. He gets it climbing on the rising currents of air until it's almost as high as Falcon. I take a deep breath, bracing myself. The bully's kite circles, trying to trap Falcon. I move away, watching closely for the next attack. The bully pulls his kite left. Quickly, I pull down as hard as I can, sending Falcon into a steep dive. Let up, Malik, my sister yells. You're going to crash. Just before Falcon hits the rooftop, I pull it up and around several times, snagging the bully's string so he cannot get free. I reel in the bully's kite so my sister can grab it. The bully's done. He has no more kites. He storms downstairs. I move on to other kites. It's easy for Falcon to pluck them from the sky as if it really is a bird of prey. Big kites, little kites, fancy and plain, even kites made of old newspapers. Sometimes I catch them in groups, making wide circles around clusters of kites. Falcon slashes through their strings. For a while, the kites fly where the wind carries them. When they land, they'll belong to whoever finds them, but at least they will have tasted freedom. In Sa'ala, I really am king of Busant today. Throughout the day, my brother brings some of the kites I have freed up to the roof. Among them is Goliath. My sister stacks them in a pile. Sometimes loose kites float close enough for me to catch. Falcon tangles their strings and I draw them in. My sister catches some too. She uses a long bamboo pole topped with thorns. If I am king, she is queen of Busant. At the end of the day, we have a big pile of kites. I choose the two I want. Then my brother and sister gets their picks. After they have chosen, they start back downstairs. My sister says, Malik, you coming? Not yet. The sun is setting on a magnificent day. I want to stay up here to watch, to feel the cool breeze. I want to make my day last a little longer. Suddenly I hear yelling from below. The bully pushes a young girl to the ground. Then he grabs her kite and runs into his house. The girl gets to her feet, sobbing. She heads down the alley, trailing the kite string behind her. Something makes me pick up Goliath and drop it over the side of the roof. It floats, slicing the air side to side to land close to her. The crying stops. The girl picks up Goliath. I duck just as she looks up to see where it came from. When I look again, she's dancing along. Then she rounds the corner. She's gone. One by one, the stars come out till they shine down like a million jeweled kites. My day is done. I am no longer King of Busant. It's time to go downstairs and join my brother and sister. We have many stories to tell of Falcon's triumphs. 
And tomorrow I will start designing a new kite, an even better kite for next Busan, when, Isha Allah, I will be king again. <laughs> Isn't that a good story, friends? I'd never heard of that kite festival, but it sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.